There we go. The new member of the family, Partridge Meats. Been around for a long, long time. Feature a great line of products. Hot dogs, bacon, ham, lunch meat. Grab a dog here during the next commercial break and come on back and join us. Opens a match with a pretty good shot. Yeah, uh, it was a good shot. little deflection on the five, but uh, real close. She keeps smiling. She she that happy to be here, you think, huh? <laughs> I think she is. Really? She'll be even happier if she can defeat Regina Snodgrass. And then the winner of Game 3 comes back for next week's show. And uh, she'll be seated into the first game. Is that right, Jen? That's right. And Pat Cannon is our next lady for today's show. You see, my boy, he keeps uh, he keeps laying those words of wisdom on uh, people. I huh? just have a lot to say today. He's saying, I'll take you out for a partridge hot dog there, when we're done. There, <laughs> there you go. There's Walt Sweeney on the bench. Green sweater. There you go. Yeah. We're going to see some contrasting styles here, Jen, if you'd like to set up the two players for us. Uh, Regina, uh, quite a bit different than a lot of the ladies out there now. Yeah, she has that good roll on the ball. She throws a good, strong ball. She gets that good pendulum swing going. She uses the whole entire lane. And, you know, basically she's one of our strongest women bowlers in the city. Well, she was telling me before we went on, even though she's been on the telecast several times, She's never made the finals, which is, is surprising, right? yeah. Throwing that strong of a ball, that's, uh, that is amazing. The messenger pin that she sent did not quite do its job when it went to the wall with seven pin remains. And uh, watch, the, uh, the head pin's going to go to the left side of your screen right there. Now it comes off the wall, and it doesn't do its normal little dance and kick out the seven, but it's trailing across the entire width of the lane. Regina averaged 200, and like Bert Brockman, he had a final game of 235. A lot of pretty ladies on there. But of course. <laughs> yeah, right. Intense competitors and, and nice to look at, too. I'll tell you what, this, uh, this is everything. It's okay, yeah, huh? It's amazing. I get paid for doing this, too. Right? <laughs> Mary Kay on the right lane is... Uh, Featured a nice open here and uh, a good 200 game to start the show. And now, uh, now not quite getting the break on the seven pounds. It looks like she's picked up just a wee bit of speed here in between games, Jen. Uh, yeah, I think that when she first came out, that she was a little bit nervous. And we all know that when you're nervous, and uh, the ball seems to get heavy, really feels heavier than I'm sure she's thrown a 16 pound ball, but. And I think as her momentum goes and she builds a little confidence, she gets a little stronger. Now, I don't know if it's good or bad. Mary Kay is a YABA, which is the youth program coach out at Loveland Lane. She's been married 12 years, has three girls, 7, 9, and 11. Mary Kay, we're going to evaluate uh, both players' footwork here. She says on the sheet that she uses a four-step approach and a full fingertip grip. There you see her fingers being inserted into the ball. Make sure she stays underneath it. One, two, three, four. Nice, Pull clean it. approach. Yep, she, you know, we've talked about this before, Jen, but I think when your speed varies, that alone can get you into so much trouble. And I think that's what we're seeing here. Mary Kay felt like she was throwing the ball harder, and indeed she was. And she tried to slow it down a little bit there and got way ahead of the ball. This will make her third spare in a row if she can convert this. Mary Kay's a very good spare shooter. She keeps her games clean. It's amazing. She'll go right along, doesn't get into a whole lot of trouble. And that's evident from our scores that I told you about before. Very consistent. There we see Regina Snodgrass on the right lane. Lane 8 here at Stumps. Just threw a rope the last time. Look out. And she's motioning to her head. What in the world am I thinking about? Regina's married, and he has a little son, Scott. And as I told you, she's from the famous Pollard family. Ricky, Billy, Ronnie. It's just a great family. And, of course, the senior Pollard, Bill. The interesting part about that family, Jen, everyone in the family that bowls has had a 300 game. Uh, yeah. 
amazing. That is amazing. I'll bet you couldn't find that anywhere. No, really. no. That has to be some sort of record. Maybe a Weber family or something. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe a Weber family. And uh, she married a, a, just a marvelous bowler in himself. Bobby Snodgrass was uh, on the tour for a little while and uh, an accomplished bowler around the area. We haven't seen him on the show in a few years, but he can still strap him. Good, good player. Regina taking a little extra time here on the left lane. It's a big shot. She wants to get things started. The she mixing really went ball. wide with that ball. Yeah, just not really. Both players look a little tentative here. Like, you take it, I don't want it early on. But I'm sure it'll all work out. Regina, it's very interesting because Regina, two years ago, made the men's show at Princeton. Went out, qualified, bowled as good as the men, made it to the show, and I think she lost, but that is a true accomplishment just to make it. You bet. It's only happened all oh, maybe a half a dozen times at most down through the years, and for a woman to make the men's show uh, without any handicap help or anything else, yeah, that's interesting. Technical difficulties for a moment here. Seven count on the left lane. Polger guys, I guess. Out at Stumps here, you can sign up now for Summer League. Uh, they start the first week of May, and they have something new. It's a Sunday night mixed Dutch doubles league, which is an interesting and fun format. Mary Kay, after sweeping those Aaron pins off, comes back with a great shot here. Yeah, That's all right. Maybe she ought to be distracted from now on a little bit, really? huh? That was a super shot. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't surprise me at all either to see Mary Kay string a couple here. I think she's loose. I think she knows what she has to do. Not a prediction or anything, mind I would, you. <laughs> I wasn't saying. You noticed how quiet I was. Huh? Yeah, this, the, the Ford Aerostar wagon is safe again for this particular game, but uh, five seven split. Boy, that's a shame throwing the ball so well, but uh, again, the, the lack of hard, heavy roll is going to leave uh, your fair share of five sevens if you don't really crank that roll up a little bit. There you see it. We saw it made once already today. Let's see if we can bring it back one more time. It's really important for women to make you know their wrist very strong, and you can, there's several exercises that you can do. Excellent. <laughs> two for two. 5-7 split. It's always a fun one to watch. There you see it going right over about the 10th board. The ball skating out now. It's going to almost go in front of the 7 here, Jen. Sure did. There you see it. Hitting it in the front section and then hacksawing it out. We are going to be back in just a few minutes, so don't you go away. Stay tuned. There's plenty more bowling on this. The queen of TV bowling. Doug, we are back with a new sponsor, Partridge. Welcome to the clan. We're glad to have you. 26 years of bringing Cincinnati the best bowling in the area. The whole Midwest, as a matter of fact. So, Partridge, you picked a good one, and we're going to pick a few good hot dogs here before long. All right. Gina. Great shot. Commercial break didn't hurt her at all. Nice, clean roll on this one, Jen. Let's take a look. Throws the ball right about the first arrow or the fifth board. Now watch this ball. Go back. Now head pin's going to go to your left. Come off to the sideboard. Whirly bird around. Take out the four, seven, and the eight. Nice job, head pin. Great pin action. Going a black Columbia U dot, I believe. She seems very comfortable with the line. She can take command with this one right here. Right. An identical shot. Uh, you, you watched it last frame. Take my word for it. It was the same thing. And trusting the ball has given her the advantage of the strike up. One pin behind in the match, but with a double working, gives her uh, actually an 11 pin or a 9 pin lead. Not to be wow. outdone. Wow. Mary Kay did get a bad break there, Jen. Let's take a look at it if we can. The solid 7-9. The ball's going to cut so sharply. Watch it here. Nine pins in the back row. The ball should take out the nine, but look what happens. There Somebody you wasn't doing their job. <laughs> That's right. The five, Dock them or something. The five pin 
did not do his job that time, leaving a solid nine, almost a seven nine. Which would have been a disastrous break, but she covers the spare up easily. Mary Kay is currently averaging 194, and she has a high game of a 289. And quite a lot of uh, merits and awards that she has to her name. She has a 729 high series also. City match game, second, fifth. She's always done very well in the city match games. Always right there. Now, she's never won it, but I would look to this year. I'll tell you what, you come right back with a great shot. Take a look at her reaction and the ball here on the split screen. Look at her gritting her teeth a little bit there. A little blink going into the wall, but look at her stay down. What a great shot. Goes around it. Does she like it? Yeah, you're going to watch a little bit here. A little, little smile. No, smile even. Whoa, she's serious. She is serious. Look out. And that's seriously not too good of a shot. <laughs> that's great. Look at her. Serious mistake. Regina having a little mental letdown in Jennifer, you've been here before. You know what it's like. You get in your second or third step, and you forget where you're at. Yeah. That's a terrible feeling. You oh. just have to try and, and uh, make the adjustment at the line if you can. A good field shot, but in that case, she was in trouble. Big trouble. Only leaving the 6'10 was a break. Could have been almost anything. Cross lane and converts to spare. So now... Mary Kay would like to get a double. And Jean would like to start back up on him in the eighth frame. All important eighth, ninth, and tenth frames coming up. Once again, we have a very close match. You're looking at eight pins. Frames all filled. Nice. That's the big part. You know, everybody at home, strikes are nice, and winning the match is great, but if you fill all the frames and you keep the ball in play, you're going to win your fair share of matches, and you're going to make a few bucks. These girls have comparable pieces on their hands. Yeah, they're, they're using the wrist support. Exactly. And we, uh, you know, why do they do that? Well, most women need that extra support because of trying to get the ball and, and a lot of revolutions and turn on it. Uh, I'll tell you, I work out on a little hand squeezer. Mm -hmm. And it does tremendous amount of good. There you see it. That's a good shot of the Cobra. Thanks, guys, in the truck. Boy, every once in a while, they really come through for us there. The Cobra with the finger extension there Excellent. allows you to stay underneath the ball and go around it. And that's a great recovery for the 3610. Yeah, I'm just a little happy about that. Pretty when she smiles. You ought to smile more, Regina, for crying out <laughs> Gina can get really get down on herself, but when she's on a roll, she's a lot of fun to watch. Oops, 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 oops. oops, oops, oops. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> After a great break in the eighth frame, Mary Kay Books does not fare quite as well in the ninth and tenth, opening both frames and allowing Regina Snodgrass to run away with a 199 to the 182, and Regina will be back for match number three. Stay tuned.